Hey guys, as I predicted, Secret Lair is just a bunch of reprints. But they have cartoon pictures. Let me repeat this again. It is reprints with cartoon pictures, very similar to My Little Pony. Now, price is always very important because especially dealing with a product of reprints. 9 199.99 so $200 for all seven drops I imagine it's about $40 a drop uh, so you save a little bit of money when you buy seven but each drop will probably have a different value attached to it now I knew this product would not be very creative because it's been a long long time since Magic the Gathering has done anything remotely creative or new Magic the Gathering used to be a design leader. They used to do really double flipped cards, new card, even just new cards. Why does everything have to be a reprint? I'm not complaining about reprints, but when they're $200, hmm. So let me, and they also, well, I guess you also get quote digital codes, right? Which you get the new artwork. Look, I get it. I mean, some people are into this type of stuff, like Star City Games. It looks like they copy Star City Games token. They hired whoever makes those funny penguin tokens for Star City Games and then decided to hire them on the cheap to make this product. So in short, would you pay $40 for these five cards? Somebody will, but that person will not be me. I knew this product would be crap because the way they announced it and the way that they, it just seemed like a reprint product. I was 100% certain it would be a reprint product that they would sell for like a crazy amount of money because it's special and limited. When did magic become about just like, I mean, how many different products of the same car do we need? I get it. Some people are into this type of stuff. I personally not. But, um, I mean, they made the Japanese anime Planeswalkers, which are quite expensive nowadays. I just think it is very, very interesting to me. Like, I get a comment that, oh, let the whale, you're not a whale, let the whales buy. Seriously, F you. Like, if I'm the uber whale, I have a collection 100 times the size of a random anonymous person on commenting on this video. I own a blanking store. We did 1.2 million in the past two years. You can check my Facebook and LinkedIn to confirm. So, who is this product aimed at? Dummies. It's not whales, okay? I'm a whale. This product has no interest to whales. You know what whales like? Whales like product that not everyone can order, that's not in Walmart and Target. If a product is in a Target or Walmart, I'm not going to think this is an exclusive product, no matter how much Rudy Alpha Investment tells me that the Aldrain collectors... I just went to Walmart to buy a turkey to give to a family over Thanksgiving. And all my employees, I forced all my employees, not forced them, but obviously I, the company paid for them to buy turkeys to give to a family. And my gosh, they had Throne of the Elder Inn, which cost as much as a effing turkey. A pack, what was it, the collector's pack at Walmart, well, no, it was Target. Yeah, it was Target. We, went, we had to drop by Target, but Target had them, Walmart, I don't remember looking at them. We didn't do self-checkout at Walmart. But... Would you rather have a turkey or a pack of collect or a holiday gift bundle? My gosh, it's so silly. So at some point when everything is collectible, nothing is collectible. And that's the point we reached today. Let me know if you guys think that's wrong. Bye, guys.